Hey guys, 54 News Chart, and this is going to be the intro part into our basically economy set or the money system inside of a game. So you go into a game, you collect something, and then you, um, like, like say you, you get skill points and you use the skill points, or you collect coins and you use that to buy something inside the engine. So this is going to be a basic system for that. Uh, again, I usually do something to introduce it, so use something that we've done before and then introduce something new and then the next video we usually do something totally new. Uh, so that's what I've got started here. So nothing really complicated, just introducing it so it's going to be kind of short. Um, so I have all these items from Open Game Art. I'm going to upload them so you can download them. Also I'm going to link them so you can download them from there too. Okay, so uh, what I've done here is I have as usual, we'll start out with our first layout, so let's do that. Okay, so I have layout one, and then I just have move, move the mouse cursor over, and it goes to the next layout. So let's do that. So mouse cursor is over, it's going to wait four seconds, and move here. I have a very simple platformer setup. Not the best um, that I've ever done. I have some simple sprites uh, or some simple effects going on with some simple pixelation effects going on and then I have picked up a um, hundred points or a hundred something I go to this I button this is basically going to be like your inventory system where you can buy stuff and here's our empty grid to where we can actually literally just drag and drop stuff so we'll drag something from here so we'll have to actually buy it so next to each item is going to be, and that's actually going to be in our next tutorial. So on the simple one, it's going to be like two to three videos. Um, it's going to be like 50 points, and it's going to be a gun or, you know, a grenade or something like that, or a shield bubble. And then it's going to be a little X button, and then you'll move it somewhere else. So, mouse cursor over. System waits four seconds, goes to next layout. We go to the next layout. We have this. Um, this thing is told to go to the center of uh, the background. I have two layers, so I'm going to tell you that right now. I have a UI layer. It's parallel lax or parallel whatever lax thingy. It's set to zero zero, so that way it moves with the player. At least the UI. The UI is supposed to move with the player. Um, and then we have our, our layer 0. This is where everything is. I imported a tile setup. So I'm going to just click right, insert new object. Click on tile map. It's going to say, hey, do you, what, what do you want to use for a tile map? I'm going to click on that. I'm going to place it. Click on it. And then I literally just clicked on the thing that I wanted to use for a tile map. Okay. Um, and then I just placed them. So let's do that real quick. So I'm going to click this generator like system. I'm going to hit the pencil. I'm going to place it there. Uh, I'm going to select that orange box. I'm going to place that there. That. Let's see, we can put that there. Or replace it with that. There we go, some yellow white some white boxes right there. Okay, that'll work. Um, and then what I did was I took some empty sprites. So sprites I did not add. Well, I added color to them. They were like a gray red. But I set the opacity to like 20 so I could barely see them. Um, 
that way it's like okay you can see them but you can't um that's just for me as the developer and then i set it to zero but what i did was i set them to have a behavior of solid so that the player could not like fall through the floor the actual player himself has just a regular platformer setup and then i set up a left arrow um, so left arrow is down set mirrored else not mirrored and then i did a basic money pickup system on collision with um, a red whatever i'm going to say it's a red credit add a hundred to money money is a global variable click right add global variable uh, destroy the credit and add a uh, hundred to text so our text is like right here and it's white so if we can see it not really I'm going to rechange this There we go. No, can I? There we go. That way we can see it. Um, set we set a hundred to text. Buy something. You click the the eye icon button, uh, Sprite Five, and then the grid appears at Sprite X and Y. That is just run back. Um, go to Sprite. I should be set that to hold on one second. Oh, set position. Okay, so you click on the grid. Go to uh, position, set position, and then you would go into the background. Hit X and Y, and then you're good to go. And that's about it for now. Just for these particles, all I really did was go to uh, not behaviors. I did. I went to effects. I just added pixelate, and then I set it to four. Normal, but you can like you can do some other stuff. Oh, I like additive. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, that looks nice. So I'll keep that. I just set speed to 50, size to 32, opacity to 50, grow weight to 2. So it looks like it's dispersing. Spray zone 60, uh, rate 100, continuous spray. Um, that's about it for now. I'm actually going to include this file. Uh, down below so you guys can play with it and then we'll actually I'll build this level on a bit more what you're gonna actually do is buy a um, transporter or something to transport you to the next level or some sort of key or grenade to blast through this rock and then I may add some physics effects to where it'll blow these rock uh, these will be turned from tiles to actual uh, in-game objects so when it blows it'll actually um, Blow them oh like uh, like blocks, and then I'll fix up the platformer setup. I'm trying to contact a sprite artist dude who did this to create a, a couple more um, like sprites because I really like the whole. It's enough pixel to make it look cool, but it's not like overdone a whole bunch and actually fits in with this whole, whole sci-fi setup and he did some aliens so I'm going to see if we can um, play around with that so I'll see you guys later in the next episode sorry if this one was a bit rushed but there was a whole lot to it uh, but I wanted to keep it simple um, and I'll try to get the other one a little bit slowed down with more information in it 
But until then, guys, remember to hit the like button, subscribe button, comment down below what else you would like to see. Remember, the liking and subscribing is only for those who, like, would like to. I don't really care if you do or don't. So I'll see you later, guys, and uh, keep making games.